People are making love inside the cruise robo taxis, while Musk is announcing the driverless cybercab. They said driverless cars would bring us one step closer to the Jetsons, but reality is a B word. Traffic jams, collisions with fire trucks, stops at green lights, slow driving with uncertain amateurish turns, that's the reality of the driverless car in 2024. That and all the smut happening inside. Musk knows people are making adult videos on the freeway inside a Tesla on autopilot, and he's still pushing for driverless cars. And while some think we're one step closer to the future, others say it's a step in the wrong direction. And that step, whether right or wrong, was taken in August 2023 when California approved driverless taxis in San Francisco. San Franciscans are facing a complete meltdown. Over the past year, robo-taxis have been causing mayhem on the streets of San Fran. You've probably seen countless videos on TikTok and Instagram of frustrated drivers yelling and honking at driverless taxis. One day after California approved these driverless vehicles, a dozen of them froze in the middle of the street and completely blocked traffic. The New York Times reported one getting stuck in wet cement, and yet another crashed into a fire truck. While no drivers were harmed in this incident, it did stop the fire truck from responding to the emergency call. The chief of the San Francisco Fire Department responded by saying that these vehicles are negatively impacting public safety and she is concerned that this decision will have horrible consequences in the near future. To make matters worse, just one and a half weeks after California allowed Waymo and Cruise to offer autonomous taxi drivers, chaos erupted. Even though their taxis were available 24-7, the massive traffic jams during rush hour persisted. And that's why California's DMV urged the two companies to cut their fleet of autonomous robo-taxis in half. Even in a city as tolerant as San Francisco, these little self-driving cars are causing all sorts of trouble. Some people enjoy seeing them on the streets while others feel unsafe. Some activists decided to put an end to Cruise and Waymo with, wait for it, traffic cones. Apparently, you can confuse the car sensors simply by placing a traffic cone on the hood of the car. And that's why San Franciscans could see frozen rows of cruise vehicles on the streets. They did the same to Google's Waymo, and the company shot back calling them acts of, quote, vandalism and threatening to, quote, notify law enforcement of unwanted or unsafe interference of our vehicles. As more and more crashes happen throughout San Francisco, people are getting worried about the safety of these vehicles. In 2022, there were roughly 1.35 fatal car crashes per every 100 million miles driven by humans. Drew Pusateri, a spokesman for Cruise, said that they are proud of the fact that after completing 3 million miles, they haven't had a single fatality. But the glaring problem with that logic is, they have 97 million more miles to go before they could say that these cars are safe. And based on the number of crashes they've gotten so far, things don't look promising. But Oliver Cameron, the VP of product at Cruise, says that the cars were programmed to drive, quote, conservatively. Each of their vehicles is also equipped with LiDAR, radar, and cameras that get fused with machine learning, allowing the car to navigate the streets of San Francisco easily. However, even though the company is saying their vehicles are extra cautious, a reporter from BBC felt extra nervous being driven by a cruise taxi. Like this, for example. You can see how the system was uncertain making that left turn after a car stopped in front of them. Or here, when the vehicle had to pass a bus while other cars were moving in the next lane. The reporter said it feels like an insecure beginner driver is behind the wheel. When confronted with this issue, Cameron said that their vehicles make precise decisions that only seem unnatural. In other words, even though these two instances felt dangerous, they weren't. The computer was making calculated decisions and was in full control. Safety is one problem, but things got really dirty really fast when people realized, hey, there's no driver to tell me what to do. Random passengers are using Cruise and Waymo for lovemaking sessions. Some people are treating Cruise and Waymo robo-taxis like a cheap alternative to a hotel room to do all of their dirty deeds, literally. When there's no driver in the front seat to discourage you from questionable behavior, there's no telling what passengers will try. And to put it bluntly, we should have seen it coming, as Elon Musk said about the couple filming an adult video inside a Tesla car on autopilot. More and more, people are admitting they've either made out or made love inside a driverless taxi. And you want to know the real kicker? Researchers predicted this would happen. According to a 2018 study, as cars become autonomous, we will see more and more cases of heated backseat action. The murky laws about what you can and can't do inside a driverless taxi make things a lot easier. For example, we can't steam up the windows in an Uber, 
partly because the driver wouldn't be able to see the road and more because there's an actual driver in the car. But with autonomous vehicles, unless you mess with the sensors, getting the windows fogged over is not a problem, or at least it wasn't a problem. It may not be illegal, but Cruz and Waymo are updating their terms of service and adding cameras inside their vehicle. So if you plan on getting busy in the backseat of a Cruz with your date, there's something I thought I'd never say, it might be useful to read the TOS beforehand. Also, the cruise taxis are pretty transparent and anyone from the outside can see your love sessions from the outside, whether they want to or not. In addition to this, Cruise is also banning anyone who plans to drink inside their robo taxis. One person on Twitter wrote, Cruise says if I drink a beer in their car again, they'll kick me off their service on a screenshot of a Cruise email warning. And the same goes for drugs. Many people look at these regulations and think robo-taxis are not worth the investment. But Tesla's Elon Musk thought, I gotta get in on this action. On April 5th, Elon Musk posted this on his X profile. Apparently, he will be revealing Tesla's robo-taxi service on August 8th. Right before announcing this, Tesla changed the name of FSD or full self-driving to SFSD or supervised full self-driving. All Tesla owners will receive a month free trial of the service and after that, they will need to pay $100 a month instead of the current $200 a month. So instead of true FSD, the service will need to be constantly supervised by the driver. When asked about Tesla's robo-taxi service, Musk said it would be a cross between Airbnb and Uber. Inside Tesla's Q1 earnings presentation, they included several screenshots of the app. The service is called Ride Hailing and it will be available inside the Tesla app with a black and white interface. With the Ride Hailing option, you will be able to call a driverless vehicle, track it using a 3D map, and set the car's interior temperature. Maybe Musk wants your car to be warm and cozy before you begin the smut session. Explaining the service, Musk said, there will be some number of cars that Tesla owns itself and operates, a bunch where they are owned by the end user. This way, Tesla will have a fleet of not millions, but tens of millions of cars feeding the app feedback about mistakes on the road. The cars will resemble the Cybertruck, as Tesla aims to wow customers with their futuristic-looking taxis. Based on this, Musk probably forgot about the cheaper Tesla he promised customers a few years back. After all, the company is clearly going all-in on autonomous driving vehicles, according to their CEO. Despite all this boasting, Tesla still took a giant cut on their profit margins, Price cuts and the softening demand for EVs affected the company's earnings. Oh, and don't forget that the safety group said Tesla's self-driving option was the worst. While Tesla, Cruise, and Waymo keep investing heavily in driverless robo-taxis, ordinary people like you and me will be getting frustrated that there's an immovable hunk of metal preventing us from getting to work on time. Here's another video people enjoyed watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence one video at a time.